take your joy immediately. So much for that sunshine pill. Now I'll look just like my regular grumpy old self. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later. When she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Odd. Those peepers weren't there before. Why are they trying to keep people out? Lovely day for it. You know, I think Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What? What happened to your... Eyes. Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back. And I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. I hope you get to meet Arthur someday. Mummy used to live at his house until she fucked everything up. Well, 
Fucked his dad anyway. You can take your joy immediately. Well, you can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful you there. Better every day. If you knows I'm there, you'll get nasty fast. This must be the bag Harry wanted. You don't belong here, do you? Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel can make something like that. Coming with me! Right! That cuts it! You can take your joy immediately. Harry? It's Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it! I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? 
I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratholm via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. Have you been? Lovely day for it. Oi! You don't belong there! That's the one what done it! Yeah, none of that. <laughs> Around here. Shiati on this one. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Lovely weather.
I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Where do I get the key card to this? I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Poor canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out.
there. As easy as unhooking a bra. Now I can come back whenever I like. Now, if I'm going to sugar hill, which train do I take? I don't actually like long walks. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. What are you doing there? We've got a town or here, That's the one that done it! a bit of money, and I bet Stuart wouldn't I mind having you? a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. Oh, she's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Lovely day for it. Sorry, love. Girl's got to live on a budget.
Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. And you want to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. You do come here to forget. forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I don't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. Now, this ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress? 
That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little faith. I never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh, God. I could help you. I do... No, General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because... Because he was so generous, because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. Pops a joy or two when he wakes up, and a joy or two before he goes to bed. Or the dry estate. There are very few problems that joy won't make better. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in again tomorrow for more cheery answers to your questions. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry. We're very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be, shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's... he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but... he's very old, and, and we've decided to... to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help... ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. Oh, <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. Oh! 
it's in the will. We agreed. That was before you pissed on the Sheraton sofa. I did not. It was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. Serves you right. You knew I loved that sofa. Well, you can have it now. What will you trade me? For a pissed on sofa? You'd have to pay me to take it off <sighs> your hands. You'd have to pay the me odious to take it off your hands. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri. It does whip. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. China? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right. I have my pituitary extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the mephedrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Your rabbit peed on my books. And then you let your snake eat him. Uncle Edward bought you another. You murdered Mopsy! You're just Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me.
That's better, isn't it? the airplane. your fancy. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Spend my money, shall we? Got you an invitation. 
Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. Well, look at you. Got anything yummy in you? This is Royal of Royale. Well, that was tedious. the maiden. I have called her. She is here. Seven, Seven times, times four the sun hath fell. Now the prophecy fulfilled. Let the hurly burly quell. Let her come forth if she will. Tis time. Tis time. She comes. Hello? Nimue? Vivian Morgals? How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. 
Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, ugh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it and then return. But about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want, but first learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several. That's how it works, yes? All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon! I'll ask you that. You never see them burying them. Like in some big sea. Oh, of course the lads are here. Crap! Find Watch somewhere out, else to kill. Here they are, stir it you! You have no witches oh, here, thank you! Huh. Monstrous wretch! Huh. Who will go? Huh. Good it! Huh. Huh. There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. 
I guess I should talk to the weird sisters again. <laughs>